Erie's extreme metal detectors are well suited to detect foreign metal objects in rubber compounds containing different levels of carbon black material. Highly sensitive metal detectors use a balanced electrical field to detect metal. They measure minute changes caused by an electrical disturbance primarily caused by metal. The initial setup of a metal detector requires accounting for factors that influence the electrical field. Primary of these factors is the product being inspected. This is known in the industry as product effect. Product effect is especially significant in certain rubber compounds with high levels of carbon black. To account for product effect, a phase adjustment setting is used to ignore the product. Phase settings have two primary constituents, its angle and its strength. The strength, or amplitude, is comprised of a width and length dimension. Traditionally, metal detector interfaces have only provided basic numeric values, giving users little feedback on what signal the product generated in the detector. For instance, if the product's characteristics changed, like a higher level of carbon black content, and that caused a false trip, the operator would be unable to diagnose the problem. The extreme metal detector changes all of that. It not only gives users a numeric value, it also includes an embedded polar graph. The extreme state-of-the-art full-color touchscreen interface is a tremendous advantage in diagnosing operational issues caused by product fluctuations. Here, we contrast Extreme's interface with a basic competitor's design. There is no comparison. Let's demonstrate the Extreme's interface in real time. Note the detector is set up for non-carbon black rubber. The phase setting is 0 degrees, the length is 150, and the width is 20. Now, watch as the rubber strip with little carbon black content passes through the detector. When the detector is set up properly, the signal from the rubber is contained within the green boundary. Conversely, watch what happens as we pass a rubber strip with high carbon black content through the detector using the same non-carbon black settings. Although the rubber strip physically looks the same, the higher carbon black content, or product effect, causes the signal to fall outside of the established green boundary. This creates a false detection and will initiate the blue reject light located on top of the metal detector. The ability to see what impact the product is having on a metal detector in real time greatly reduces downtime. It takes the guesswork out of setup and mitigates false trips.